boys! Today I'm checking out the demo for Wandness, an upcoming bullet heaven where you can fully customize your wands, which are your attacks in the game, and add a ton of different things to them. You can modify the attacks, some effects that they have on your other wands and stuff, and I think various different stats on them. I'm not sure if I can actually see them currently, but that's just what I've gathered so far. So we've got your standard bullet heaven going on here. It looks like it actually takes your character a little bit to turn. That's a bit awkward. But a chest here. Looks like you can see where some of the enemies are spawning. Got some gold to buy stuff later on. Oh, we have a second chest somewhere on the level, it looks like. So I've got some sort of fire trail and one that shoots projectiles currently. Let's see if I can pull them through the fire trail here. Okay, that's a bomb enemy, it looks like. There is a dash. These bombs have a decent AoE size. A bit hard to avoid them currently. Especially with the weird turning thing going on. Kind of hard to even get in the circle. Yeah, those bombs seem pretty annoying. I'm almost dead, somehow. Try and grab the gold over here. There's so many of the bomb guys, Jesus, man. Okay, the round's almost over. Another freaking bomb. So, it's showing you some of the wand-based stuff here. Looks like you can store a bunch of stuff in the inventory and then freely modify them, it looks like. So, that is the spear. Various stats for that. It's a common rarity. Uh, I can't really see much about them. Wands. I can't really tell like which one is leaving the fire trail since I can't hover over most of the stats on it. Fire element times two. Oh, that's what the burning ground is from. For having two of those, I guess? I need to pick up the chests, I think. So these are epic wands, it looks like. I can get a rolling rock. Can I see the element? Oh, the element is right there. Fire. So I might want to go more into that to get these set bonuses. There's also elemental. I guess at certain levels you get an extra projectile count or something. So this one has both that and... Oh no, it doesn't. You can get either fire or one of those thingies. Ooh, health region would be pretty useful. Pickup range. Uh, I think I want to grab this thing for the health region because I am almost dead. That comes with a magic ball. How do I grab this? Okay, there we go. I can drag it up here. There's a, another chest. Oh, we've got some components. 24% damage. Big crit damage, but it loses some projectile size or critical chance at the cost of damage. So that's probably the best with a decent upside. They're all common. Can I put that in the components or something? Okay, there we go. Pickup range for every 12 enemies killed by this wand. It's kind of cool, wand cooldown, but you lose crit damage, and it applies to this and the next wand. They're all rare, it looks like. Projectile speed. I kind of like this so that I can get more gold to buy more stuff later on, and the earlier I get that, the faster it ramps up. I'll want that on my best wand. Was that okay? There's another chest still. We've got one of the attack types magic ball, arcane sword, or magic ball. Uh, there probably shouldn't be two completely similar things there. Doesn't really add anything. 
But let's check out the arcane sword. The epic thing will probably be doing the most kills, so let's put the scaling thing on that. And give it some more damage. And I guess toss an arcane sword on one of those to see how it works. So, a regular encounter. Campfire, blacksmith, wizard. Oh god, I didn't heal. I am going to die to bombs, aren't I? Try and dash through them. There's two chests somewhere. It is really hard to get these things completed with all the bombs, Jesus. They need to tone down that explosion radius a bit. Or I at least need some more range damage so I can actually kill them. Big explosion on that rock, wow. Oh, there's a magnet. I can save that for later. I have all the chests, so I can grab that towards the end now. Fifteen seconds to go. Healing a little bit with the region, but not a ton. Can I see how much that is ramped up? Doesn't look like it. Can I see my stats anywhere? Doesn't really seem like it. So we've got an epic projectile, magic ball, spear, pulse wave. Probably just grab one I don't have yet to try that out. A legendary, target the smallest enemies first. Eh. Max health, but lower speed. That sounds pretty bad right now. Instant reload when killing 10 enemies with this wand. Sounds pretty good to go with my main killer here. We've got a common wand. So I probably just want to go for any bonuses that I can get here. I could get ice elements as well as elemental class. I could get greed, increased pickup radius. It's kind of cool. But it seems like it would be hard to pull off the higher rarities for that, so I think I'm gonna grab something that I already have two for. It comes with projectile size. So I have an epic pulse wave, try that one over there and then put my epic magic ball somewhere else. There's not a lot of modifiers on these currently. I'm just gonna pump- oh that's locked to that, okay. I might want that over there for now then. And instant reload that one to ramp up my pickup radius a bit more. Oh this is another chest. Got another epic. Let's try the explosion. Projectile size. That does have a projectile size, so I'll try that actually and put the ball over here. So a blacksmith will probably have something to do with selling stuff for wands. Campfire will probably heal me. I'm not sure what wizard would be. I'll have another choice up here, but if I go wizard, I can kind of only go for another wizard. 
I can go blacksmith and then wizard later, maybe? See what they all do. So we've got two dudes here. I don't know exactly what that is. Okay, this guy sells some components, that's cool. Just like we can buy full wands up here with modifiers and stuff attached to them. But I don't have that much gold yet. A bit more health regen could be kind of useful. That one has 0.3. So that would be a small increase to what I have. Crit damage, but they are slower cooldowns. Crit chance, but slower cooldowns. Projectile speed. None of those sounds very useful. I can get a legendary magic explosion. That would probably be good for my killing wand here. How do I... I don't know how to get it. Do I drag it over here? Okay, there we go. Put that on the killing wand. Uh, the extra health region might be kind of handy. It does get me some more stuff up here as well, so I have six ice elements, wow. Ice meteors will fall randomly. I have a blue magic ball I can toss somewhere. Can I sell that useless thing? Don't really have any gold left. So I want to see the wizard next. There's our ice meteors falling for the six set ice bonus. Try and find the other chest now and hopefully region up slowly. So that healed me 20 HP, that's pretty helpful. My pickup radius still seems kind of bad, but I guess there's still a lot of time to ramp that up. The ice meteors are actually kind of taking some of the kills from the wands though. So we got both the chests, just collect gold now. Targeting behavior, smallest enemies first. Scattered projectiles. Decrease the damage and size of the projectiles. Oh, when Enza gets scattered, that's pretty cool. Split the projectile into multiple debuffed ones before launching. But they're 60% weaker and smaller. That has no downside since it happens at the end, right? Whereas that has a pretty big downside. I wonder if that works on the explosions, since they do have projectile stats. I'm gonna grab that one and try it out on the arcane explosion. We've got an additional wand modifier, projectile speed for every 14 enemies killed for this and the previous wands. So previous would probably be up here. 
What if I toss that on here? Instant reload. I already have one of those on there. I'm gonna put this on my killing wand, I think. And I'm not sure if projectile speed really does much on it yet, but it might if I swap that out, and it will also apply to the previous one. So none of these have any stats, it looks like. I would just be getting set bonuses. Could bring that up to the second tier. Could bring that up to the fourth tier. Oh, there are some things in here. Projectile speed for gold collected, that's kind of cool. Eh. Same thing. That would give me the second read, though. Since that's locked... Well, actually, I can swap out the damage thing on those, so projectile speed might be useful for something. Arcane Spear, Magic Ball, Sword. I'm not sure if any of those are very useful to me. So, that is locked to that, but I can swap out the attack on that, right? And then I could put that up here as the previous one to my legendary. And then I can apply this to both of those, and then this one has some ramping stuff as well. And then on to the next area. Oh, there were a- we've got a new enemy as well. There were a bunch of small explosions at the end there, that's cool. My cooldowns feel kind of long right now, but I haven't really seen much for that. I can't even get into the circle, man. Many and my cooldowns are so long, I can't even get there. Took two hits and I'm almost dead. I literally don't even have time to get the second chest here unless it's already on the ground somewhere. I can't find it. Let's see, we've got a wand with some legendary components, fastest enemies, full wave. Max health will lose speed, wand distance, that would be pretty useful. Oh wait, it's the distance of it away from the player. That's not like area, it would make it target further away, I think. Critical chance will lose projectile speed, but applies to two wands. Fortunately, it's locked to that one. Are there any bonuses that would be super useful for me here? I could get second water and greed, maybe? Are there any that I could give up for that? Uh, I would have to give up water and defense, probably. Fire and elemental. I get plus one count for that, which seems pretty good. Well, I can get this second greed anyways, and apply that to another wand.
wand cooldown, but critical damage, that could help. Crit chance blues damage, or just a decent damage modifier. What is the 10.5? So that's a decent increase in the cooldown. Not really scaling crit much anyways. And that applies to two of them? No. That's just to that wand itself. I could really use some cooldown though. Don't really care about any of those. So I guess I have to replace the water thing. I... Okay, there we go. That is the previous wand, so I'll want that under the legendary. And then probably have an epic over there. Have some wand cooldown on this one. Uh, legendary is probably gonna one shot stuff, so maybe put the cooldown in place of the damage. Then put some cooldown on one of these somewhere. Magic explosion rare. There are some big bombs now. Don't tell me the AoE is even bigger on them. to get those cooldown areas. Or timered areas, I guess they are. They have these same explosion areas, so they probably just do more damage now. My pickup radius is still tiny, even with the ramping bonus from that. Like, I have to get almost on top of the gold there. Wand cooldown with no downside? That's. Oh, it actually increases the cooldown by 0.5, though. That is a weird downside to have. I guess all the components actually increase the cooldown then. It gives projectile size for gold collected, that's kinda cool. So where's the cooldown on there? Didn't I... Didn't I put that on the legendary instead of the damage? I can't remove that. Might go that to ramp up the projectile size. 25% damage at the cost of crit chance. That's a big crit damage bonus. So we've got some regular wands here. Looks like nothing super noteworthy about them, projectile size or crit damage. Projectile size actually seems pretty important here since the cooldowns are so long you want to hit a lot of stuff with every cast. I don't think I really care about any of these. 
Yeah, I thought I swapped that out earlier, so that's down to 9.3. I could get really big projectile size on it. Instead of maybe the scatter thing. Big crit damage, probably not super useful. I guess it does work on those ones a bit. Let's toss an epic up here. Check out the wizard. So he's just the same thing as the blacksmith? Oh, he sells a random wand, it looks like. Is that... No, he just has several different ones. It has health regen, pickup range, and a legendary explosion. And it's full of modifiers? That seems pretty good. Especially for two... Oh! That's my wand, and I can upgrade it. Okay. I was like, dang, I would definitely buy that for 200. Uh, let's see what happens if I upgrade it, I suppose. Oh, that's probably the pickup range that I've gotten scaling with that now, 1.7. Added new wand modifiers. So I'd get some extra cooldown, or cooldown and defense. 22% is actually a lot. Doesn't look like there's any changes here just to the passive stats on it. But that would make me way tankier. You can also reroll the elements. Looks like one upgrade per. Let me see if there is anything at this guy that I really wanted first. Target the smallest enemies first. I mean, I'm mostly just AoEing, doesn't really seem super useful. Projectile speed, eh. I mean, that only reduces it by 0.5 since it also has the downside in the top left anyways, so may as well upgrade a decent wand here. Probably that one. So I can gain another 12% defense, or... Does that already have it? Yeah, it does, so... I don't know what that one's adding. Oh, new component slots. Okay, that's pretty cool. This would add a big damage and dodge chance. That's quite a bit of stats, and it applies globally. So I think I'm gonna take that. Then, not much gold left. I guess let's go for the... Actually, let's see what the campfire does. Another two chests here. Try and grab all the gold I can for that one component that ramps with it. And just 
we're buying enough reading stuff anyways. It's kind of cool with the little waves shooting out to the either side when it ends there. It'd be cool if you could apply some of the component modifiers to the set bonuses somehow. For like the ice shards and meteors and stuff. Just to spice those up a lot more as the run goes on. Crit chance, but a much longer cooldown. Nope. Crit chance for free, one cooldown at a tiny amount. I don't know, I think I like the lower cooldowns the most out of those sets. Not super useful though. Got a wand with projectile speed. Wand distance legendary. Max health for every 10 enemies killed? That seems insane. Split projectiles. Uh, the bonuses aren't on that aren't super useful. I could maybe get water. But I'd have to break some of my other bonuses, but that seems like a lot of HP. Why is it so hard to grab it? Give it to me! Player defense for enemies killed. Wand cooldown for this and the previous minus 2.3? That's nuts! Wand cooldown for gold collected, this and the previous wand? That's nuts too! All of these are extremely good. I think I'm gonna grab the reduced cooldown for gold collected. Don't care about these. Let's see, what's the least useful here? Probably fire? So I can keep the six ice. And I'll want to get some damage on that so I can ramp the health up. But I want to have cooldown on this, on the legendary and the previous. So I'll definitely need something in above it. Which will probably be this one so that I can get a lot of HP. And then where do I want to put the cooldown on here? I guess replacing that one. I can't replace that for some reason. And then I want to buff this one up quite a bit to get the HP going. This is the previous. This is just this one. So I want this one below my legendary. I guess have some extra cooldown here, and then even lower cooldown, 1.1 seconds. Let's toss an epic on there, maybe magic ball. Uh, the lower cooldown is actually really cool with a very low base, so that I can get that down to 1.1 second actually, I'm down to try that. Even though it's only rare. So there should be an absolute ton of pebbles coming out now with that cooldown. And I can ramp up my cooldown and health with kills, as well as various pickup and gold related things. It would be helpful if the dash counter could be shown somewhere on the player character 
so that you don't have to like glance at the top right to see exactly how many you have. Always much easier to see the dash when you're focusing on the action if it's close to you. so hard to stay in these circles. It doesn't seem like I'm actually getting many kills with the pebbles though. So it might be weak even with the super low cooldown, since that's the thing that would give me HP based on kills. So I probably have to try something else over there to get the HP ramping. Fastest enemies, again, doesn't really sound that useful. Crit chance to this and the next wand could be good. Forked projectiles. But they are much weaker. That's a decent amount of crit chance. Probably grab that to buff two of my wands at the same time. Just some small passive stats here. Wand cooldown, but loses projectile size. Got some random wands here. Cooldown for gold collected. That seems like the best out of them, but the bonuses aren't super useful. Extra dash and player speed is actually not bad. Probably have to give something up for that though. That has fire and greed, I would lose the two greed. That's probably fine. I can't grab the wand, man. <laughs> for just that one, but it can ramp up that wand a bit. So the pebbles didn't really seem to kill anything because I didn't get any of the extra max HP. Unless that means it heals you instead of increasing it. But it says max health, so I think it is a permanent boost. But we've got to try something higher damage there it seems like. I guess try the pulse wave. Kind of a long cooldown now though. That's not quite as useful. I can give it some crit chance and apply that to my legendary if it goes in there. They need to improve like the controlling, the crafting and stuff. You kind of can't really select stuff very easily and you sometimes can't swap out components very easily either. And I think that's it for now. I can toss some of those random things in. I kind of want to get the kills focused on these ones though for the HP and the collection and stuff. I could add a bit to that. Uh, I probably want a better skill over there. And then maybe some size on it. Probably hold on to those for now, so I get more kills on the ramping wands. You do seem 
need to have iframes on the dash at least. But it is very hard to stay in those circles. I still haven't gotten a single HP increase from that thing. Oh, there we go. Finally got the first one. So it is a permanent boost. That's pretty crazy. Just kind of hard to get the kills with that locked component. If I could have moved that to my legendary, that would have been sick. Biggest enemies. One cooldown for this and previous. That's pretty good. For 11% defense that I can toss on any wall, that's also really good. Uh, I can replace that. No, that's previous, it would have to go here. I do have a slot for that though, at crit damage. Uh, these are both pretty good. Let's see if I can... I can't close this and then see what the other things have. Oh well, I'll just grab that. One cooldown, or one cooldown. That one's just better. So we've got some blue ones here, split projectiles, and pause time. Oh, that's interesting. Wouldn't that be kind of nuts on the explosion? You'd just create a giant damaging circle? Arcane spear. Dash count plus two. That's some pretty good utility. Although I don't actually need that many most of the time. Honestly, I want to see what happens with this and one of the explosions. I, I can't grab the wand! Give it to me! Please! There we go. Don't really care about any of these. So, I need this for over here. And then I want to try the pause thing with an explosion. It's going to mess up some of my set bonuses, but oh well, I want to see what happens. So, move the explosion over there. Then toss a scatter on there just to see what happens. And I guess lower the cooldown a bit, because why not? This and previous, so this goes up here. And then I think that's it for now. Oh wait, I can probably- oh! That's probably some pause things? The scatter being paused. Interesting. Yeah, that seems pretty good with the explosions. What if I just toss stuff on here and see what they look like? It doesn't seem to work with the pebbles. Okay, we've got some swords on the ground. Not bad. What about with a spear? Bunch of spears for a very short time, it seems like. The explosion seems like it would be the best. Oh, I do lose a bit of health region. Oh well, it seems pretty cool. Then check out what the campfire does. I... Oh, it healed me up, and then I can't actually do anything there. Okay. That was kind of a waste. What is that? Nothing. It seems like just a decoration, I guess. I already have a chest from something, it looks like. 
Wait, my HP went away. Huh? I had the 13 permanent bonus from that one thing. Maybe it's just for that level then? There are so many enemies. I can't dash. I have four charges, it looks like. about any of these. 5% defense is kind of useful, especially when I already have 22%, 34%. Alright, I probably don't want that since it's going to be stealing kills. It's too bad I can't swap the pause projectiles to something else though. Oh, you lose your inventory every time? What? Huh. Okay, so I threw away a pretty good wand while I was testing accidentally. Oops. I didn't notice that earlier. I'm actually down to three ice now. Oops. That's not great. Uh, I'm probably not going to use any of these. Please, I can't grab it. Give me the wand, man! Finally, Jesus! Let's see, 17% defense is huge. I could get pause projectiles. But 17% when I already have like 34? I take less than half damage from everything and I could toss that on a random wand. Eh, pause would be pretty insane on my legendary though. All that stuff is so good though. Maybe I could swap the pickup range to something else now. And just ramp up the size and the damage stats and stuff for it. Oh, I guess projectile speed probably isn't super necessary. This in the previous, so I could toss it down there anyways. I can't move those. Crit chance. Don't really care about any of those. So I want to swap the projectile speed over to here. Don't care about that one. The pause projectiles on that. I guess toss crit chance on something random. Okay, there we go. Got some huge legendary pause things. It looks like there's more enemies there to get the ramping kill stuff. Yeah, it seems like it resets every stage, so it's just for that one stage where you get those bonuses. So, a lot weaker than I initially thought.
dash seems to only go in the direction that you're moving, and it also takes a little bit to update. If you rapidly change your direction and then dash, it will still go in the old direction that you were facing, not the one that you just recently changed to. Got a green one, splits. Damage for this and the previous, but they're all locked. Instant reload and split. That is pickup range, defense. Honestly, 40% defense is pretty good. That doesn't have anything, it just has the locked projectile size. Don't think I care about that one that much. So, probably grab that for the defense. Give me the wand, I can't get it! Projectile speed, but much slower cooldown. Size and reduce cooldown. Crit chance. Don't think I care about any of those. Crit chance. Size for gold collected. I guess. And then I want to swap this one. Let's take the components out first. Since you can't really see them when it's in your inventory. So I should have absolutely insane defense now. Have a blue arcane spear. Ramping projectile size, I guess with that it's fine. Or maybe with that, actually. Critical chance, just not that great really. Oh, that has a decent boost to the previous. I could put that on one of these. Oh, there's a useless white component. Oh well. No chests here, it looks like just a boss fight. You can't freaking move, my god! Gold to ramp up a little bit. I'm stuck on the terrain there. I'm ramped up enough now with all the kills and gold effects. So there's nothing to even use here. 
Maybe that's the end of the demo? Yep. So there is a lot of interesting stuff here. Um, you should probably make it easier to interact with the various elements and swap them between wands and stuff. You should probably specialize that the on-kill stuff is only for the current stage. Clean up the dash a little bit so that it functions a bit cleaner. And you should probably mention that the items are destroyed at the end of each round in your inventory. But I really like the customization stuff you can do for the wands here, pretty cool. Maybe you should allow one of the vendors to unlock the components that are locked on some of the wands for a small gold fee. But pretty cool so far. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.